hey guys welcome to another tech video of guruji official and here we are going to solve or we are going to resolve an issue which is here you can see uh, every one of you uh, can face this issue and are facing uh, this is the issue you can see important check if additional text information is required from you all youtube creators and partners are required to submit tax information to ensure any applicable taxes on your payments are accurate so here we all uh, youtubers have to submit uh, their tax info so here i am going to submit my tax info so if you are an individual youtuber and you are residing in india you can submit uh, your tax info as i am submitting here so let's start so here you can see if we click on payments option you can see here uh, an option is provide or update your tax information your payments profile and country determine how your taxes are collected withheld and reported so here you can see no tax info on file so uh, here you also see this kind of option so i am going to add tax info i'm clicking here on add tax info option so here first of all you have to verify that uh, you are logging here in uh, uh, so i am going to enter my password and clicking on next so friends first of all you can see this kind of question to find the right tax form please answer a few questions first the irs the us tax uh, authority requires the tax information we reported in letters a to z or numbers for ascending ascendant characters and the letters only such as n for n a for a this type of information only for us tax payers we are in indian so first of all we click on what type of account is shivam sharma so this is my account so i am clicking here in individual this is my individual account and here are you a citizen or resident of the united states so i am citizen of india i am clicking here in no because i am not residing in us so here this type of form will uh, show so select w8 tax form type based on your previously selected answers a w8 form is needed so because uh, i am an individual and uh, i am residing in india outside united states so i need w uh, w8 form so what kind of w8 form two types of w8 form first of all W eight V E N. This form is most commonly used by an by non U S individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. So, uh, uh, first of all, uh, we are here in a non U S individual and we also want tax treaty benefits. So here another form is W eight E C I. This is uh, this form is most commonly used by a non U S business entity or individual. that earns income related to its us trade or businesses and files a us income tax return so this is only for uh, businesses so we are uh, uh, we are escaping it and uh, we are going to submit w8 ven form so here we are clicking on w8 ven form start w8 ven form okay so we are clicking here first of all we'll see so okay tax identity first of all tax identity make sure that this information is exactly the same as on your tax documents and the and that the form is signed by an authorized representative of this legal entity so uh, whatever the information you will submit uh, please submit accurate information okay so this is my name which is accurate and this is uh the business name so i don't have any kind of business name uh, no, you don't have to submit your channel name here uh and country of citizenship here i am indian resident so i am submitting india here okay this is india tax per identification number so uh, okay so tax per identification number is also you can uh, submit your pan number also here uh, because uh, here you can see a tax per identification number is a tax processing number requires by the irs irs uh, uh 
So this is an American revenue system also for some tax forms more about in uh, for foreign tin you don't include any other foreign personal identification such as Korean resident registration number uh, if you're claiming treaty you are required to provide a foreign tin foreign tin also a pan card also permanent account number you can enter your foreign tin also so I'm entering here my pan number and here I'm going to click on next So guys, I have entered my PAN number here and now I am clicking here on next. So here you can see uh, your uh, address. You have to submit your address here, permanent uh, resident address. So here permanent resident address is a PO box in or in care of address. You will be required to submit additional documentation. So here I am selecting my address also and uh, here my country is India and I, I am going to uh, enter my per permanent address here and then mailing address also so I am going to enter these details here so guys you can see here a question also asked uh, here is a question also available on the uh, AdSense account you can see uh, are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty so uh, here you can see no US tax law may impose a 30% withholding tax on payments that are considered US source income This tax may be reduced or eliminated for any payee that this That qualifies under a relevant tax treaty. So here I am going not click on no I'm clicking here on next because you also have to click on s yes so are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under tax treaty please click on yes okay so here So here we are going to click resident of country claiming treaty with the US select here country here I am clicking here in India I am resident of India so India has tax treaty with the US uh, click special rates and conditions services adsense we are using so first of all uh, you have to select in article paragraph article 7 and paragraph 1 and here withholding rate 0% reducing rate reduced rate okay so here click on this and motion picture and article 12 paragraph 2 say withholding rate 15% reduced rate okay so here so click here and withholding rate okay so so here so first of all you have to click here article 7 paragraph 1 0 percent reduced rate article 12 and paragraph 2a and 15% uh, reduced rate and here click here and click here so here I'm clicking here on next you can see so I'm clicking here on next and my form is being loading okay so you can see here is my form and uh, I am going to click here uh, this is my form is ready uh, I confirm that I have reviewed the generated text documents to the best of my knowledge and believe they are true correct and complete if you want to see these forms uh, download PDF the of these forms so click here one by one and you can read uh, overall form so I am also going to click here clicking here so now I have seen all the forms and downloaded PDF of all of these forms I am going to clicking here on next so here please click here in next now this is certification under penalties of uh, prejury I declare that I have examined the information on this form 
and to the best of my knowledge and belief it is true correct and complete i further certify under penalties of perjury that i am the individual uh, that is the beneficial owner or an authorized to sign for the individual that is the beneficial owner of all the income to which this form relates or i am using this form to document myself for chapter 4 purposes the person named in the tax identity section of this form is not a us person so i am not a us person the income to which this form relates is a not not effectively connected with the conduct of a trade or business in the united states be effectively connected what is not subject to tax under an applicable income tax treaty or c the partner's share of a partner's effectively connected income the person named in the tax identification section of this form is a resident of the treaty country listed in the tax treaty section of the form if any within the meaning of the income tax treaty between the us and that country and and for broker transactions and with, uh, water exchanges the beneficial owner is an exempt foreign person so please read all the certification and uh, here furthermore i authorize this form to be provided to any withholding agent that has control receipt or custody of the income of which i am the beneficial owner or any withholding agent that can disburse or make payments of the income uh, of which i am the beneficial owner so here i am going to signature here you uh, i am going to type my full name so this is my full name so i am okay this is my full name i am going to signature here so are you the person listed in the signature section yes i am the person listed in the section and i am completing this form is my uh this form on my own behalf so please click here on yes i am the person listed in the signature section and i am completing this form on my own behalf so here now activities and services performed in us and affidavit activities and services performed in the us has the individual or entity identified in the tax identity section performed any activities and services for google within the us no so here certify that the services provided to google or its affiliate affiliates will be performed solely outside the us and that any labor or capital including facilities or other tools used to provide such services will be physically located uh, uh, outside the us so please click here on no so basically it is asking here uh, Uh, it is saying that uh, has the individual or entity identification in the tax ident identity section performed any activities and services for google within the us Be uh, are we are, uh, are we uh, be having having we any kind of uh, uh, offices in the us or any kind of tools we are using in us so anything uh, if we have so we click here on yes because we don't have any kind of offices in the us we are only uh, uh, we are only working for google and uh, providing content for google so because we don't have any kind of tools in us any kind of offices in us so please click here on no i certify that the services provided to google or its affiliates will be performed solely outside the us and that any uh, labor or capital including facilities or other tools used to provide such services will be physically located outside the us because all of the services are located outside the us so i certified it and click here so status change affidavit are you providing tax info for a new or existing payment profile uh, that is not received payments uh, received payments or an existing payment profile that has previously received payments so i am providing tax info for a new not new i am providing tax info for an existing payment profile that has previously received payments so i am clicking here So under penalties or perjury i declare that the information and certification contained herein remained the same and unchanged except as provided below from 1st of january 2020 until the present and were true 
correct and complete for that time to the extent that there were any changes please detail them here and uh, include dates of relevant changes so uh, click here on submit so hi here please click on submit so here you can see so after submitting this form you will receive an email from google payments your tax information has been approved so please see this form and uh, this is uh, this form uh, whatever the form i have filled you can use this form only if you are an indian individual youtuber not a business and also uh, you are not outside from uh, not uh, outside india i have uh, completed this form only for indians and indian youtubers if you are non indian you can go through uh, on you uh, different videos so thank you thank you for watching this video thank you so much